Now they're coming down to the start with Mark Evans leading them at three, two, one. Mark Evans had his nose right on the line as he went by us. He may have been over by a foot. We'll have to wait for the officials to rule on that. Vilwalk ended up out in lane four, but he made a flying start. He had the most boat speed coming by us. He's going to be out in lane four as we go through this first turn. Evans on the outside was the leader as a cross start finish, but he already drops back a bit as Vilwalk goes smoking by him on his left. The three boats to the left using the small turn now gain a little bit on him jw myers comes out of that turn in third place and actually mark evans right now is second out there but a couple of boats are going to go by him phil walk opening up a lead on the back stretch giving chases jw myers he has that 11 peters and may running the best we've seen it j michael kelly on the inside is going to be third into the turn mark evans on the outside is running fourth or fifth. We've lost Greg Hopp. He's either in those rooster tails or we lost him somewhere. We'll pick him up as they turn toward us. Now the end of lap one and coming down to finish it with a nice lead is Dave Vilwalk. He started way outside in the 96 Spirit of Qatar. Flying the boat across start finish. In second place, J.W. Myers. Mark Evans getting a great run out of the 57 FormulaBoats.com. Actually in third place as they came by us. Had a little bit of a lead on J. Michael Kelly running over on the boy line. He's back in fourth place. Now, into the turn and out of it one more time. The turn to our right, turn one. It's all Dave Hillwalk as he has a couple of rooster tails on a great race for second place. J. Michael Kelly on the inside of that confrontation. He has J.W. Myers to his right. And this is a drag race now, the brand new boat against the veteran. And it's J. Michael pulling up right beside J.W. We find Greg Hopp now as he comes by us right now to finish a lap. He did lose some time somewhere on the race course. Coming down now to finish lap two, Dave Vilwalk, the leader in the 96 Spirit of Qatar. And the battle for second place currently is held by J. Michael Kelly in the 88 degree men turning toward us. Vilwalk across the line, finishes lap two. Now the race for second place. Kelly crossing right now and Myers now. That is the difference between those two boats fourth place now mark evans coming by and then it's back a half a lap to greg hop running fifth on the water in the 100 the beacon plumbing out of turn one for the third time on the white flag lap dave vilwalk the u96 spirit of qatar on his way to a heat victory and 400 points still a pretty good race back behind him for second place right now j michael kelly in control of that in the 88 degree men then it's back about a rooster tail to jw myers who has fallen back a little ways in the 11 peters and may a quarter of a lap to go for vilwalk as greg hop comes by to finish his second lap something happened to hopper we lost him for a while and he lost a lot of time on the water Now Vilwalk out of the corner, they put up the checkered flag, and he'll come down and take it for a 400-point victory and a great start to his weekend. If you are scoring at home wherever across the big world you may be, this is the way the points are awarded in Heat 1A. Dave Vilwalk in first place picks up 400 points, also picked up 100 in qualifying. We will add those later when it's time to total up the points. Getting into the final heat, we'll let you know how the qualifying points affect that battle. J. Michael Kelly, a strong run in second place in the 88-degree men, picks up 300 points. J.W. Myers looking real strong in the 11, Peters and May, 225 points. Fourth place will go to Mark Evans, 169, and we will score fifth place points, 127 as well, to Greg Hopp in the U100, the Beacon Plumbing.